Right folks, um, welcome to a quick update on the plot. It's the Tuesday the 18th of June, it's half past eight in the evening. Um, I've got to come, I've been down here most of today uh, doing some bits and bobs on communal. Um, <clears throat> but I have to come to video, you've no chance. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. Um, as normal, like I say, the clematis is doing really well. Um, the strawberries, God, the strawberries everywhere, green strawberries, really lovely size. I'm just waiting for them to start to turn red. The leaves on my strawberries are looking a little bit pale, I've noticed. Um, <coughs> so I think I'm going to give them a bit of a liquid feed. I'll put some chicken pellets in a watering can and like soften them down and make them into a, a liquid and give them a feed. Um, my salad, my first bed with salad, I've, we've been eating away merrily, we're getting sort of towards end. This Mizuna and Mibuna, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a bitter salad anyway, so it's gone, to, it's gone to seed. But the thing is, there's millions of small leaves, so I'm not pulling them out. I've pulled out one or two of the normal lettuces that have gone to seed, and I've cut back the rocket just to see if I can get any more small leaves off it but spring onions doing really well the beetroot is bulbing up now um, elephant garlic that's doing fine really really pleased with my summer raspberries there's millions millions of fruit on I'm well chuffed just hope I get some and not the birds get it all my little apple tree We've had a June drop and I've helped it a little bit, so there's probably about 20 apples on there, which is still a little bit much, but we'll see how we go. I don't know if you remember, I was saying that we're going to get my me, me big onions in, my giant onions. Well, they're not so much giant, they're, they're mammoth red. <clears throat> and I'm growing them outside. I'll just step back a bit. This is the manure bin, and it's been topped up and topped up and topped up. Anyway, it's, and I've let it sort of settle down so it shouldn't really drop down much no more I've put about a foot of compost in it's a mixture of all sorts of compost so I've put some like frames up around just to stop a bit of wind but they're outside they're 100% outside um, and I'm really happy the way they're going you know that's about five to six centimeters 50 60 mil two two and a half inch you know already so like I said I'm not gonna get massive mammoth 10 pound onions I'm not bothered but you know if I get a, a couple of pound it'd be, it'd be nice it'd be lovely but I just wanted to see how they grow because I were late getting them going um, so that's them the other raspberries <clears throat> a little bit slow they're plodding on though they're coming up they are late they are autumn um, I would have hoped they'd be a bit bigger, but they are young. They, you know, this is only the second year, so they're still building roots. They're still sorting themselves out. Gooseberries, although there's not millions, what there are, they're really good size. So, because I cut this back a bit last year, I don't know if you remember, I cut it back a bit. So, it, I'm happy. I can stay on that. I'll just see if I can stand up here on this wood. I've definitely, definitely started, haven't we? Just stripping all the topsoil off of this. Moving it all to the bottom. And then you see that junk there. They're going to bring in about a million tonne of it and raise all this level up. Basically, it goes on there and then it drops down. They're going to level it all up. They're going to raise the level. And the reason they're saying that they're doing it is to help it stop flooding. Well, it don't flood, it's a bit boggy down there, so don't build on it. But, you know, money talks, and that, that, that's that, isn't it? So, yeah, back to the enjoyable bit anyway. My tear berries, loads, I'll just step across here. Tear berries, I've got loads of new shoots coming up, loads. I mean, that one's done nearly five foot already. You know, that one's up to now. So there's lots of new growth. They're obviously very happy and settled in. 
my beetroots that I've plopped in they're doing well they're getting eaten a little bit my parsnips really pleased with my parsnips um, that's dust from next door on them I'll have to give them a bit of a wash but they're all through they're all healthy they're all doing well so I'm happy with that a little bit of pak choy left that I've been using for salad leaves I'm still using it there's loads of little salad leaves I've put some more radish and some more pak choy in there now my large Spanish onions doing phenomenal really pleased I really am so chuffed with the, this onions from seed I really am pleased I mean they are doing really really well and there's no sign touch wood I'm touching my head unless anybody wants to know touch wood the, there's no signs of any bolting so I've put this is my uh, Eve Robinson bean frame it's not a wedding arch um, I've just put it I'm, I've, I've, I'm running out of space so I've put a row of beans up that side and a row of beans up that side these beans are a little bit older that you can see in there they were done a good few weeks before the little ones so they're in these are my red barren onions from seed same again really pleased really green fattening up nicely my banana shallots same again really pleased I had some rocket down here I've pulled that out because it's proper gone to seed and died off kind of thing so I'm falling over so these are, aren't spring onions they're all my spare red barren onions just let me swap sorry red barren onions and what I did was I clumped them together all the little seedlings I clumped them together in tens and if I can just I don't know whether you can see me doing this but if I just twist and pull one that is a phenomenal spring onion absolutely phenomenal red spring onion and they're gorgeous I haven't pulled many just lay it down there so I don't forget it I haven't pulled many but basically rather than waste them I turned them into spring onions and plus there's plenty of people around here that will eat them for me um, rhubarb still haven't had a chance to pick that yet under there you can see through there my swedes they're uh, romping on put them in a few weeks ago and the kale that I'm growing to eat sort of now rather than I'll just take this off should have got this ready shouldn't I I'm used to sit getting prepared and doing stuff the kale I'm going to pull it back because I'm going to show you my carrots I've got to show you my carrots on. so the Cavalo Nero and I'm not doing um, F1 reflex this year because I'm doing this a short, shorter ver one but it's just as nice I've had a bit but yeah the Cavalo Nero ready to eat now start picking that now my carrot box I think I showed you my carrot box last time but I didn't I don't think I showed you inside so that just sits there <coughs> So these are my sweet candle carrots, spaced four inch apart in sieved sand, compost and soil. And I've just spruced it up a little bit this year. So this is second year. I'm really pleased, really, really pleased. I had a little bit of a delve and they're already starting to fatten up, which is crackers. So I'll just swap hands and close it again because I don't want anything getting in there when I've done all this hard work. So this is a double layer of like EnviroMesh. I have to admit it's only double because I put one layer on, I don't know what you can see there, dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it and I got all in it. So I thought rather than take it off, I'll just put another layer on and it's fine. So that they're well protected in there. Potatoes, just like everybody else's, they're just gunning on, they're mad, they're mental. Um, I've got a couple of buckets at home that are ready. Um, well, here we go again, like I say, it's, I should have been a bit more ready, but 
in there we've got calabrese spinach and some cauliflowers you can see them through there um, I've cleared this bed I've cleared the sprinkler oh, sorry Nelly has found that she likes to drop the ball in the pond and she can't get it because every time she touches it it just sinks but she spends hours doing it absolutely and the thing is I can sit and watch it for hours so I've cleared this bed it's ready for uh, leeks it's ready for leeks I'm gonna put them in tomorrow I've got three different types of leek longbow muscle bra, and just like just about everybody in the UK seem to have got some of these F1 stocky free seeds so I've put them in and uh, looking alright I'm gonna put them in somewhere now question if anybody knows all about plum trees this little plum tree it only had a few it had some blossom on and they've dropped off um, which I want surprised I mean I've got one I think I've got one uh, in there yeah I've got one plum in there but I'm not by back it's only young but it looks very pale to me it looks very pale going out towards the tips if anybody knows what's going on with my little plum tree is it being oh I haven't over watered it but is it, it it is nice and damp down there it's not dry um there's cow manure top dressing on it and it's just normal clay soil underneath there's nothing so is it deficient in something or is this just what happens with them or if anybody can can help me out so the pond I'll do it from this side so the geraniums are up my lupins my irises everything's out there I'm gonna have to get a smaller plant for pond because that king cups mental um, I'm really pleased really pleased I have done a complete series of videos for the pond but I'm just back at work now so I'm gonna get one of the lads at work who does media teaching media and stuff to, to put them all together she's done it again she gets it out she puts it outside and then just knocks it back in just so that she's well, just it, it entertains her for hours she's mantle if she finds it all she'll drop the ball in it and then spend hours trying to get it out but she's just she loves this little pond so little mini me there getting lost in the vegetation but I'm really pleased I've put some poached egg plants in there and I know they're self seed and go mad but this corner it's not going to be tidy um, some foxgloves that's the word I can't remember pink foxgloves and like I say the blue perennial geranium that it's not a lobelia it's a salvia I remembered it's a salvia oh she's in now all right we'll leave her to it right so this is the leaf mold bin um, I'll just remove this one <coughs> so you can see so in there I just put about eight or ten inch of good compost that was left out of my compost bin planted in my courgettes and then mulched round them with some cow manure cow bedding straw um, and we'll see how they get on this is just full of this year's compost <coughs> I'm just topping this up some more strawberries there and this is what I keep getting I get to that stage and then when I come down the following day they were red but they're eaten uh, just a couple of spare beans in there so this is all my compost gone completely all gone now but they hit you know these are little baby bonsai trees the little trees that I'm going to grow on in pots to turn into bonsais later um, my asparagus that you can see there in pots there's all these growing away merrily happily um, the potatoes are just going mad I'm not growing anymore I keep, I've, I've, I've put in I think I've about 35 chuffing buckets I'm mental another couple of little trees so all I do is they're actually hedging trees and I just put them in a plant pot and I just if you can see there stop it off 
so then we get side branches and I'll just stop them and I'll over the next 50 years I'll just keep cutting them back and cutting them back it's just a bit of fun it's just I've got a little bonsai type tree at home me, me Acer oh them there are leeks that were in a small pot but I couldn't get them in the ground so if you ever get where your leeks are getting a bit pot bound just stick them in a bigger pot just give them some more room just stick them in a bigger pot and they'll just carry on they're not gonna go mad in there they're not gonna grow too big because they're still close together but at least they get some more nutrients from underneath so folks that's about it really um, strawberries everywhere and I'll be lucky if I get a few because the birds and the mice bloody eat them and like I say unfortunately it has started and they're making a right mess but at least when they're done I tell you what though there's loads of good topsoil <laughs> just can't get it in here but at least when they're done they're going to be nice houses so that's just a quick update for you um, like I say it's getting a bit harder to film down here oh nearly forgot there's just one spare there's one spare big red onion there I'm going to put it in a pot there and just leave it there and see what happens um, so thank you very much for watching just a, just a quick update of what's going on um, no spectacular thank you very much for following me thank you for subscribing and please feel free to comment like I say if you know why my plum tree is going blonde I'd be really interested to know right folks thank you very much all the best for now